Hey, Six, now Democrat impeachment revenge. This entire impeachment episode has a huge component of political revenge in it. The Democrats getting even for impeaching Bill Clinton back in 1998. Democrats seeking revenge for Donald Trump having the audacity in beating their guy, Hillary. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, Mitch McConnell is saying publicly that he is in total coordination with the White House in mounting a vigorous, I'll infuse that word, I don't know if he used it, but a vigorous defense of the President of the United States. By the way, he'd also be defending the Article II branch of government and the United States Constitution, so it's a hefty task. The problem is... These same reports are also saying that there are factions within the Republican Party saying, hey, we may not even call witnesses. And if we do call witnesses, don't get your hopes up. It's not going to be that fun. So which is it? Which is it going to be? Mitch McConnell has three choices, Graham. All three will lead to the uh, not guilty uh, and Trump will remain as president. You can take that to the bank. Uh, Choice number one is to vote to dismiss the charges. He needs 51 senators to do that, and most people believe that could happen. Choice number two is have a quickie trial, call for a quickie vote, and at that point, the president is found not guilty and is exonerated. Choice number three, which is what you alluded to, which is a full-blown trial, and the Democrats are terrified of that because the witness list could very well include such big names as Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, uh, former Secretary of State, former Secretary of um, uh, Foreign Policy decisions inside the State Department, obviously Director of National Intelligence, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, Everybody that the Republicans have wanted to hear from who has been hidden very well might be called. Joe Biden has already said he won't show up and he'll be held in contempt of the Senate. So what's Mitch going to do? Dismiss, vote quick or a full trial? Because if it's a full trial, Graham, there's a lot of senators that are going to miss campaigning in the spring. We have to point out something here. I know you know this, but the American people, I think the large swath does not understand this. There's very little detail about impeachment in the United States Constitution. In other words, where I'm getting at here is that there is no requirement necessarily that the Senate even takes up an article of impeachment. It, 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 it alludes, the Constitution alludes that this is the next step. So when you talk about a motion to dismiss, um, there are rules in the Senate in place right now that Mitch McConnell has not changed. And he could change right now. He could have changed it two weeks ago, two months ago, to allow a simple majority vote just to dismiss this thing as soon as it arrives over to the Senate. He hasn't done this. So when you're talking about a motion and voting on dismiss, are you talking about after a brief trial? Or are you talking about necessarily changing these rules and then having a vote to dismiss? Uh, Scholars are saying both are a possibility. And it takes, they believe, 51 votes on a procedural matter, not even to take the subject up. I personally think that's a mistake. I think the American people need to be told uh, the president was impeached and the president was exonerated. So there needs to be a vote after at least a brief trial. I should also point out that the brilliance of the founders in the 1700s is now coming to the forefront for us to see. They were worried about the following proposition, a House majority different than the party in the White House, and then the party in the House weaponizes impeachment. That's exactly what has happened, which is why the founders put a two-thirds majority necessary in the Senate for conviction, which will never ever happen. This is a clown show. It's a clown show that determined we will impeach him in the fall of 2016, and they've been looking for the reason why ever since. And your viewers, thanks to your show, have heard things like collusion, obstruction, quid pro quo, uh, Russian involvement in the election, bribery, 
all those charges are gone because there were no facts. Now, the two charges are not even listed in the Constitution as grounds for impeachment. Right. That's why the polls keep dropping for support for what the Dems are doing. If, if, if McConnell does not uh, vote on dismissing it immediately without even uh, discussing anything in the Senate, if they crack the egg at all, they have to go all the way. And they have to call Hunter Biden. They have to call Joe Biden. They have to call Eric Charamella. And they have to call the whistleblower because I believe Eric Charamella and the whistleblower are one and the same. We deserve to hear from the guy who initiated, who was the spark on this impeachment Hindenburg that's now blowing up in the United States Senate. Very thank you.